are resetting themselves, hitting the lineup. A huge heat, round one, heat three, featuring John John Florence, Mark Healy, Clyde Aikau, Nathan Fletcher, Noah Johnson, Peter Mel, Takayuki Wakita, Freddie Stacked does not even begin to describe the level of talent we have in this heat. It's kind of like the difference between Pipeline and Chopo. Like, Pipeline just has this pop to it. Like, Chopo's a crazy wave, in the same way Mavericks is a crazy wave, but there's something about waves here, I don't know, it has this explosive characteristic to it that uh, feels like all your limbs are gonna rip off. Say those words about Waimea, talking about how intense it is, and watching that intensity here with John John Flores dropping in really deep. John John is one of these new age Waimea surfers. He likes to sit deep, he likes to sit inside on this double up coming up from behind it while black and white are a little bit more to the to the Haleiwa side of the wave he's deep in, and watch how he try he tries to hold on for everything it's like when he serves small waves or, or WCT events you know he doesn't like falling he tries to hold on as much as possible and he's he's young and he's just going for it hungry hungry, hungry. meanwhile out the back that looked like our Wait. former champion Noah Johnson and also having that security blanket of the Hawaii Water Patrol led by Brian Kealana. You know, you can tell he just feels safe and comfortable. This is home for him. Nathan Being out here a big white man. A little quick up and out, Nathan Fletcher and I loved, as you were talking about Clyde right there, he waved the ski off. He goes, let me go, give me my board. He's right back on his board, his own power. He's back out there. Now we see Seth pulsing through. Surfer and White, Mark Healy, just coming under duress from a gigantic slab of white water. It looked like he was in total control with so much speed, but he hit the trough of that wave, and that's where you get in trouble. The wave catches up to you real quick. Well, as you saw right there, he was the first goofy footer to kind of set his rail, grab his outside rail, and try and pull that rail up in order to project out forward in front of the wave. You'll see it here from this water angle. As we see Clyde in yellow, his first wave of this year's Eddie Aikau event, and wow, look at him go. I mean, he wanted that. You saw how Total hard commitment. he tried to hang on, and you know, it, was, it wasn't a make, but I tell you what, the judges are gonna love that effort and that commitment from Clyde Aikau. Well, not only are the judges, I love it. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> loving that. it. I mean, that oh, shows you right there. So what, what do you think happened there? There's so much chop coming up the face. What was the cause of that disastrous wipeout? Well, there's a lot going on, you know, like, as you see this wave, the, the face was a lot smoother on Mark's wave. And we got, man, just, just complete action. Wave after wave, you know, going back to Clyde's wave, you know, I, I just think the board got out from underneath him. There was a little bit more chop than he probably anticipated. If you take a good wipeout and you come back up and you're fine, that gets you fired up. It'll be exciting to see what Clyde Aikau can do after that first attempt. A valiant effort, went down hard. You saw him, it was kind of touch and go there for a minute. It looked like he might have been kind of getting rescued, but then he just waved off the ski, grabbed his board, he's straight back out there. So uh, it, it, every wave seems to be heroic. And that wave from Clyde Aikau so far has to be one of the most Herculean efforts we've seen on the day. Yes, definitely. And you're not, if you don't put yourself in harm's way, you're not going to get that big score. So he was probably just thinking, I'm in probably not the best zone, but I'm going for it. And if I make this, I'm going to get a huge score. You know, and he's just trying to push limits with everyone else out in this lineup of, of guys. This is John John Florence now. Steep, deep, total control. He makes it look so easy for He really does. He really does. You know, just I, I feel like he's he's a lot like Kelly where just their their positioning, their their ability to be comfortable out in big surf, you know, it, it allows them to do what he does. I mean he's right on the apex there. A little bit of air under there, a little bit of a drop, but look how low he gets driving around this section. And then he's you know he's already thinking about maybe doing turns. You can see that he his board's a little bit more maneuverable than, than a few of the other guys. I, I would go as far to say he's probably riding at eight something, at eight six, eight eight.
you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have guys like Abe Lerner driving us out here and taking us through the motions and keeping us safe. But let me tell you, it's still, uh, you feel, it feels pretty lonely all the less. Strider, how does the view from out there look, looking onto the beach, seeing this crowd, seeing them roar once the set comes through? It's absolutely um, incredible. You can see everybody, you can feel everybody, you can hear everybody. Uh, I heard, I think it was Chris Cote say earlier, it's the Coliseum, you know, it's a natural, beautiful Coliseum. We know Nathan Fletcher and what he's capable of here. Again, one of the one of the goofy footers in the draw. Here we go, airdrop out the back. Oh, it was John John Florence. And he was in control, but I'll tell you what, there is nothing you can do when the whitewater catches up to you like it did right there. But what John John did on the outside section, it's incredible, and right behind him, Mark Healy, trying to race around impending doom, disappears. Yes, now I just, I, I have to cut you off, that was amazing. I was Madness. literally jumping out of my seat. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I grew up with Mark Healy. I'm like the biggest Mark Healy cheerleader there is on the North Shore. And to see that drop, airdrop on your backside, which is really hard, these gooby footers have to use their heel edge. Looks like Wakita could be potentially coming in towards the beach. We'll have to see what transpired. I think Wakita was actually, yeah. So this was what Wakita and John John. What happened here, Freddie? Wow, look at that. Both of them getting air on that drop. Like I said, see John John's got that toe edge in. Wakita heel edge harder to dig into the wave, especially with his chop. John John, once again, so much uh, so much just preciseness and poise. I mean, the lines he takes, like he was anticipating that little air drop there down the face. And Wakita there just, just losing it there. I mean, he had it for a while, um, but a massive wave and, and just a great performance by the Japanese surfer and John John Flores and sharing that wave is cool. But Mark Healy, look at that. I mean, what do you think about it? <laughs> wow. I, I love that every wave that's been surfed today has started with this free fall airdrop. I mean, that right there, that is unprecedented. Five, 10 years ago, that wouldn't have been possible. These yeah. guys push the limits and their equipment is caught up to how good they are. Yeah. Wakita, actually, he made that drop. He was in control when he got back into the water. So we'll see what the judges say. Clyde Eichel, Woo! just sending it over the ledge, makes the drop. And you saw just, so just well, he was going so fast on these boards. Sometimes when you're going that fast, the board has the tendency to want to go straight and that's what happened right there for Clyde, but you'll see that with Greg Knoll, you'll see that with Eddie Aikau, and you'll see it with Clyde right here. See how he's got that wide, nice Waimea stance, bowed out, very poised and positioned over his board. Right here, trying to get that toe edge in, couldn't get it, but at the same time, what a fantastic drop as we see another angle. And look at that. Well, there's your poster for next year. I that mean, it doesn't get any more beautiful than that when it comes to just that traditional perfect, you said it, Hawaiian style surfing. That was a really a thing of beauty to watch. You'll see that the way he's riding it and the way that the air is getting underneath it, it's it's very much exactly like that. You know, look at him, he's stroking into this one, all his strength and power and he's poised. Oh, that was his wave before. That was an aggressive wipeout right there. That's, it really just... <laughs> that that would have taken out, I mean, any surfer in yeah. the world. This is a 66-year-old man charging out there. That was his first wave, and he came back from that and just got a gem of a wave on his second wave. So we're going to wait for the scores to drop for Clyde Eichau. I think that, that second wave, it's not going to be in the perfect range, but I think the way he executed the drop, made it to the bottom of the wave, he's going to get some points there. Yeah, and it's inspiring to watch. You know, for, for Clyde, I just... And for the fans, I really feel just seeing him ride waves, like I'm completely satisfied. I don't even want to look at his score line. <laughs> exactly. Or you know, I want to let him surf all eight heats out here and just keep him out there because it's just so good to see and it's so inspiring. And it's also, you know, like we said, that, that true Hawaii style of surfing and that throwback board that he's riding, very cool. Well, just as we talk about the old school, the traditionalist, we got to jump right back to the new school. Our new leader, John John Florence, has just jumped into the lead on the day. Three hefty scores, a 46, a 59, and now his biggest score on the board yet, a 64, giving him a total of 169. So a quick refresher 
has been pure madness. We've seen broken boards, nearly broken bodies. Uh, some excellent scores have come through. John John Florence with that 65. That was enough to get him in the lead. Mark Healy on the highest single wave score of the day with a 76. And Clyde Aikau has to be the fan favorite. His scores, they're increasing. He's getting on a roll and Clyde Aikau again. Beautiful drop there. Look at that. Sharing the wave with Takayuki Wakita looks like. And and riding it all the way through there. What a ride, you know, like he's really going for it. That's his third wave so far. There were surfers in, the, in heats prior that didn't even get two waves and he's out there really going for it. Such a treat to see. Wow, and then just after that replay, we had Nate Fletcher looking like he was trying to take a high line on that big board, of course, on his back and it's good to see Mark Healy and Nathan Fletcher, the two backsiders now getting in the mix get flat when there's no rail engaged that's where you run into trouble now we have live action Wakita again this is his backup board makes the drop trying to outgun this collapsing avalanche of white water and he did the hard part again so he made that wave the ju you know these judges they're not saying make the wave all the way to the beach they, no. they're not worried about that they want to see you make the hard part down to the bottom of the wave where you're in control that's when you can kind of basically jump off that's what Wakita did right there so that's going to be a solid score for Wakita. Well, here's the thing. If, you know, you're watching at home, you're going, what is going on right now? Well, this is what these guys prepare for all year. Surfers and water patrol. This is the day that they've been working at. You see, we have surfers in the water with no board. In that heat where Eddie goes, I'm sending you guys a ton of waves. You know, you guys just go for it. And this is a look at Takayuki Wakita's last wave, that big score of 64, Freddie. Man, look at that airdrop he had, and now he's staying lower. That The other wave he had, he was kind of upright, he lost his footing, he was on the his, uh, his heel edge, but right there he stayed lower. I would have loved to see him grab his rail, yank that rail up and do a big old bottom turn around that section. But he knows best, you know, he's done this before. So that ride, coming in at a 62, a great ride. But we'll see with under a minute to go, quick shot of Danilo Koto. He got cleaned up. He's in the next seat. He's got to get all the way back out there. So we'll see if uh, Danilo can make it back out and give himself plenty of time. But here you have it. Quicksilver in memory of Eddie Aikau. Leaderboard, John John Florence on top. The veteran, Ross Clark Jones in second. And look out, Takayuki Wakita climbs from the depths all the way into that Banzai. third spot. And our fellow goofy footer, Mark Healy, from right up the street, he can ride his bike down to this wave, and I'm sure he's been doing that for the better part of the last 15 years. Mark Healy in fourth, Kelly Slater in fifth, Aaron Gold, watch out for this guy. He will go on any given wave. It's still anyone's game, Freddie.